Uh, let's talk to Oliver Courtney, who works for the group mentioned there, Global Witness. Uh, I mentioned, what, 900 murders, but you believe that is just a small percentage of many murders that go unreported? That's right. Um, we have identified 908 murders between 2002 and 2013, um, which is a vast number, and we believe it's down to increasing competition for natural resources. But we do believe it's just the tip of the iceberg because information about this problem is extremely hard to find and even harder to verify. There's very little monitoring of the situation for environmental and land activists and the situations they're, fi they're, they're fighting often in remote and risky areas. So we really believe that what we found needs to be uh, the prompt for, for, for action from, from governments in particular, but also from the international community. Much more needs to be done to monitor the environmental activists, which does appear to be increasing dramatically. Just 10 people convicted, I reported, for those 900 murders. Um, does that reflect the difficulty in finding out what actually happened or an unwillingness to do so? Well, it's certainly difficult to find out, find out what happened, particularly because people are often operating in remote and risky areas. Um, there's very little monitoring of what's going on. But we do think there's a real problem with impunity here. Governments are failing to act to protect the citizens that they should be celebrating as heroes for the work they're doing to protect the environment. There's, there's an astonishing lack of information about, about perpetrators in, in, in all of the cases that we've, we've uncovered. Um, most of the cases, there's, there's, there's no information whatsoever about who was behind the killing. And those where there is, only six cases have we actually seen um, the cases brought and seen a conviction. We think that's a really startlingly low uh, number and we do think that's having a knock-on effect in terms of its chilling effect on environmental activism and stifling the, the work of these people who are, after all, uh, striving to protect the environment and the planet for, for, for themselves and their people, but also for all of us. Good to have you on the news out. That's uh, Oliver Courtney talking to us from London. Thank you. Many thanks.